Hey YouTube, still keeping one here. I've got a new two-part video series here now, and it is going to be for beginning in stacking. Now I've gotten a lot of messages and emails from newcomers wanting to know some of the terms uh, that we are using here in the stacking and collecting community. So I'm going to be going over those in two videos because I didn't want to make a single video too far. So if you're not interested in going to school, uh, you can pass this video up, but it's for those newcomers out there. So I'm going to start now. First and foremost, I'm going to start with BU. Now, this is probably the term that you will hear the most in this community. Now, BU stands for Brilliant Uncirculated. And what that is, is a uh, coin like this one that was minted without the intent of being put into circulation. So this is a Chinese panda, as you can see, and it is brilliant and circulated. So this was not made to be spent as money or, you know, in someone's pocket change and things like that, so on and so forth. So that is probably what we'll, you will come across the most. Now, second, uh, I want to talk about high relief and ultra high relief. Now, those are HR and UHR. Now, what I have here is a two ounce Grand Canyon round here from Provident Metals. Now, the relief is the, the part of the design that comes off of the coin or round itself. Now, this here is a ultra high relief, and that's a UHR. And what that means is at least 75% of the surface is raised against the background. So that's what qualifies this as a UHR. Now a high relief HR coin has at least 50% raised from the background. So those are your two terms there, ultra high relief and high relief. And this one being a ultra high relief. And the uh, privateer rounds from Profit and Metals are also, also uh, ultra high relief. Uh, next I have Privy on the list. Now here is a 2015 Kookaburra. Now if you notice, there is a Privy right there. The Privy on this coin happens to be the GOAT. So this is a year of the GOAT Privy. Now what a Privy is, is just a mark to distinguish, usually a small mark, to distinguish this coin from other Kookaburra coins 2015. Now, on coins, they're more than likely uh, lunar privies, but they can actually be anything. But there seems to be more lunar privies than everything else. Now, I have a regular kookaburra there, and you can see this is the privy one with the goat, and this is a standard BU one with no privy mark on there. So that is privy. And last but certainly not least for this video, I have generic. Now, here is a generic round. This is a generic piece of silver. It is a prospector round, also from Provident Metals. Now, what makes this generic is that it was not made by a government mint. It was made by a private mint, which makes it generic. So that was an easy one. And I hope this was informative to you, and I will see you on part two. Thanks a lot, YouTube.